Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about HDP CA or HDP Certified Administrator exam and in this video I will try to show you how to uh, accomplish the task um, in practice exam. Um, as we have covered high availability, there is one task related to high availability, the resource manager high availability and we need to uh, set up high availability for resource manager in the environment they will be provide they have provided for this practice exam so first we need to make sure all the services are up and running so go to desktop and launch ambari okay so the name and password are admin and admin And if the services are not started, we have to start them. Right now, they are being started. Once they are started completely, we can start working on the task. Let's review the exam task. The exam task says that set up resource manager to be highly available by configuring node 2 with an additional resource manager. So there is one node which, which is already running the resource manager and now we have to configure node 2 also um, as a uh, highly available, uh, as a second no node which will be running resource manager for the high availability purpose. So it's very simple, I have already covered as part of the uh, all the topics in high availability. I am revisiting uh, here. So resource manager is component of ER. So you need to remember that that architecture otherwise you will not you will be struggling to find out where the resource manager is okay uh, so as resource manager is related to yarn click on yarn and you can see that one one resource manager is already running and you can click on this to get the ip address on which it is running it is running on a node called resource manager you can see it here so go back now we have to add another node uh, which will be running resource manager and that node is node 2 as per the task which, which is given to us. So click on service actions as I have demonstrated earlier. Click on enable resource manager HA. Click on next. So here we have to make sure that node 2 is selected because as per the curriculum they are asking us to do it on node 2. Okay, once that is done, uh, click on next and you can see that additional resource manager will be installed on node 2 and then click on next. So it will take little time to stop the services and start but it will be successful. Only thing which you need to keep in mind is resource manager is a yarn component so you have to click on yarn and then go to service actions and uh, uh, click on uh, and, uh, resource manager high availability and then um, make sure you choose the right node which is uh, requested as part of the exam task and uh, select those nodes and then high availability will be configured within few minutes. So overall the task will take around 5 to 10 minutes um, uh, because stopping and starting the services will take some time as you see. Now the services are stopped and uh, additional resource manager is being installed on the uh, node 2. You can click on this and see that it is being installed on node 2. And once the installation is done it will reconfigure the yarn using the namespaces or um, whatever it is, uh, whatever the parameter parameters that needs to be added or updated uh, to enable the high availability and then starting of the services also will take some time. It will try to start all the relevant services that are applicable uh, for uh, the task uh, we are performing. Okay. Once it is done, we will make sure that everything is green and uh, the second node resource manager is running on node 2 and then we can wrap up the task. Again, overall the task will take around 5 to 10 minutes if you are familiar with the architecture and all those things and uh, if you know those things just to stop and start the services will take a uh, considerable amount of time. Most likely they will give resource manager high availability if they want to test you in the high availability or they might ask you to come up with a dist cp command 
or configure uh, high availability on high server 2 or snapshot name not high availability though it is very important it is time consuming and uh, if we, if you make any errors as part of the name not high availability there can be uh, impact for the other tasks so it is it is little bit unlikely to ask that but you should be familiar about it it is very important name node high availability is the most important thing when it comes to configuring high availability in the hadoop cluster so you should be knowledgeable about it and you have to practice as many times as possible for the certification purpose but the probability of getting that question is on lower side because it takes a lot more time than configuring uh, resource manager high availability or high server high availability for that reason uh, they might not emphasize on uh, name node high availability at the time of the certification uh, so uh, let's uh, wait until all the services are started and then we will wrap up so it is taking a little bit long time if it is so you have to go here and troubleshoot where it is taking time it, it, it took time to actually validate the pig scripts it's uh, but finally it, it is successful so it has to execute uh, other checks also like test the yarn and map reduce to as well as uzi uh, these tasks will take a little bit of time so it took almost seven to eight minutes just to stop and start the services as part of the configuration so here uh, the uzi check have failed because there is another warning so you have to troubleshoot so it didn't go through smoothly uh, so let's review what has gone wrong because it can happen as part of the certification also you can see that on the name node also there was some issue uh, checking how you was an issue and uh, you can see that here it could not submit some tasks related to hive but that doesn't mean that the task is failed completely you can just click on ok and uh, probably try to retry click on retry for the second time and see if it goes through this time it has gone through the check hive on the name node actually it didn't run the check hive here so it's I don't know why it ran last time and why it is not running this time. Now again, uh, uh, check ping is taking a little bit of time here. So you have to make sure everything is up and running before you go to the next task. Don't click on the uh, the close uh, close icon when these things are failing at the time of certification. You have to make sure that everything goes through smoothly and. Uh, and the complete button and all those things are enabled to move on to the next uh, window but if they if for some reason it is stuck for very long time and if you are not able to troubleshoot in that inevitable situation you might consider clicking on the close icon and go to the next topic but here even though it failed for the first time next time it uh, went through successfully hence click on complete and now you can see that everything is running without any issues The page is being refreshed and uh, now you can see by going to yarn that we have two resource managers one is active and one is standby and one is on resource manager and the second one is on node 2 you can go click on this link and see so standby is on uh, uh, node called resource manager and uh, active is on node 2 okay so this is how you can accomplish the task of configuring the resource manager high availability as part of the practice exam that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certifications of uh, big data please join my linkedin groups called itversity hyphen certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time Thank you. Bye.